I'm Dave Norman of Mellie County Fire Department, USAR Task Force 103 Special Operations Bureau. And today what we did was continuing education. And with that we had our partner agencies from LA City, Animal Control, and the equestrian volunteers at, throughout LA County as well as some city folks, uh, agencies that also help with animal rescue. The first uh, portion of this that you saw was what we called the Anderson Sling Harness and it allows us to rescue horses via the helicopter when horses are trapped in mountainous areas. And with that, we have a host of different types of configurations in terms of rigging, hand signals, and communications with our Air Ops partners. We also had LA City Air Operations involved in today's event as well. And with that, we hook the horse up with to the Anderson harness, and then basically the helicopter comes into a hover, we hook that horse up, and then it's taken to a retrieval team. Upon acceptance of that retrieval team, they de-rig that horse and then the horse comes to a gentle landing on the ground and then given to a veterinarian type of unit. The other configuration that that large animal lift can be used for is if a horse is upside down. We can hook the horse up by his feet, bring him up upside down and then land him over on an area of safety where the veterinarian and other folks can go and take care of the horse. The last part of today's CE was the rescue glide that we use for horses to either bring a horse into a trailer, bring a horse across a mud field, and we're able to go ahead and package the horse. We can also slide the horse up a uh, slope, and we package them utilizing ratchet type devices, software, rope systems, and even, ca even cable systems sometimes off of our special operations equipment. And in that particular uh, case, that it allows us to go ahead and really drag the horse on a sled for several hundred, 200 feet if we need to, to get the horse out of harm's way and then to also get that horse into a trailer. Our tactics, techniques, and procedures, we allow us to go ahead and revisit those particular items that we're responsible for through continued education. By practicing these very vital skills in large animal rescue, allows us to be mission effective and safety effective when we're rescuing these large animals. And working with our partner agencies allows us to go ahead and work with our partners or collaborators and really get some good relationships going and work cohesively as a team when we're in a large animal rescue setting. And so on behalf of Special Operations Bureau, USAR Task Forces 103 and 130, we thank you for joining us today.